Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. It is Sunday. It's Sunday, August 4th, 2024. It's day 217. Still, still, we're still feeling fine. Still doing quite well, thank you. But there isn't a whole lot going on today. You can, you can come with me. No. You can come with me. And you'll be on a world of entertainment, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this is no Willy Wonka adventure. This is just a Sunday. But I'm still waiting to see if that changes to 10 past 3 because when I, when I first came in here, it was 10 past 3 and I said it is 10 past 3 on that sign. Worries me a little bit. But, oh, uh, I'm feel we're feeling better now that it is not, you know, yesterday. Yesterday is just one of those days we don't like. Especially Terry, he hates it. That and but that's again, that's why I backed up one. But uh yeah, today is Well, this and uh, another friend of ours has their birthday today. It's always been an awkward one, so we had to message them. We don't talk to them very we don't talk to the lover, our uh old friends again. Um Yeah. It is a quarter past three. That is the strangest clock I have ever seen. Okay, well, that answers a lot. I, I guess. But, being that it's Sunday, there's, again, not a whole lot going on. We still need to do some grocery, some minor grocery shopping. We tried to go to the store yesterday because we, we were out of the right size tortillas. So, um, we went over to the Dollar General that's by us. That's what they don't have. They don't have the tortillas in the... They don't have tortillas in the size that we need for fish tacos. They only have the really big ones. Oh, which means I have to walk even further out to find anywhere that has tortillas in the size that we need. And I I'm also thinking about the possibility of not doing the fish tonight. And a lot of it is because, um, Willie's throat isn't doing so well. There's some swelling in there. So, uh, I want to I find something a little more soothing for her throat, if you know what I mean. Maybe, like, I could do some pea soup, but, and then again, that might still be a bit much too. I, I just need to take things easy. I want this day, this one, to be a little bit short, because there, there is a lot on my mind, but a lot also at the same time, there's not, because all of our focus right now is just how we're going to get dinner taken care of, because going anywhere, it's still just blazingly hot outside, so I don't look forward to going anywhere. I kind of dread it right now, all that heat. But, because that and all of my focus is making sure that Buttercup can do her orientation. Her, her check-in orientation for school is tomorrow. So that's the main thing that we've been focused on. Even yesterday, all we could think about is Monday being, you know, tomorrow. That's all we can really think about is making sure that goes smoothly and then we can finally do the clothes shopping and school supplies shopping. As Around this time, communication is very difficult, you know? Like, when it's needed, when, when, when these things are needed is when it gets the most difficult to communicate with anyone, whether they're in this house or otherwise. Like, oh my goodness, it's been, it's been bad. Plus, plus, the door, remember how I said the door needs fixing? Oh, it really needs fixing. It is getting worse every time you move that door. And I have to keep it closed at all times right now because, uh, while sleep, he likes to, um, swing the door around. He likes to open and close it constantly. And with the door coming off that top hinge, it only keeps getting worse, so I have to stop her every time. And those are some really weird dog rays in here. Hang on. If you can see them, hang on. Yeah, look at the dog rays here. Uh, they move a lot. It's, uh,. I mean, and unfortunately, you can't just duck below them because they're just here. Hang on. Yeah, they're here. They're like this entire layers. This this world is a little funky. So the world is just called quiet, and it was on. Uh, when I came here, it was listed under trending, and, and I don't see that because once you click on trending, sometimes worlds will just disappear randomly, and that's what happened here. I can't even pronounce the person's name because there's a lot of R's in it. Like, Ru 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 or something. I don't know. 
thing. I... I wish there was more I could talk about, but all, like I said, all of our focus is just making sure things go smoothly for this coming week. Because last week was a little bit stressful, things got better, but then of course there was yesterday. And then just trying to keep things as organized as smooth as possible for this month. And there's a lot more, I guess there's a lot more brain power in you in it because you... We have no room to have be be yeah. Bung tight again. Sorry, we have no room to be impulsive this month, which means the impulses are usually where the fun things happen for us. But we have no room to be impulsive right now. I'd like to be. I'd like to have some impulsiveness, but that'll have to wait for another time. There's so many other things we have to focus on, especially such well, the primary one is expenses, as there are a lot of. Large expenses this month and and next month because next month being you know September, we have both Buttercup and Sweet Pea's birthday. One day after the other, I know they're they're seven years apart. They're seven years apart in age, yet their birthdays are a day apart. And the same, well, they're both a day apart, the thirteenth and fourteenth of September. That'll be fun. Luckily, Buttercup is okay with sharing birthday celebrations with Sweet Pea. Makes it entertaining for them both, but we have no idea what we're gonna do. Because last year we took last year we took Buttercup over to a place called LOL or Laugh Out Loud, which is kind of a play place similar to like a beach cheese or something. We don't even know well one. Expenses are so high that no one can really do that right now. But the last time when we went there last year, it was absolutely just run down. They don't maintain their stuff, so most of the uh, equipment for all, all, all the play equipment, like the ski ball and most of their arcade machines, were all completely broken. So they're all busted. They're all, all busted. And the few that were working, they had to constantly come out and fix to the point where they just stopped coming up to do maintenance because they were getting annoyed with the customers. So really, I don't even know what works there anymore. It's just not worth going there. See, when you run... When you operate a place, and this is this is a, a growing problem everywhere. Where if you operate a place for people to have fun like that, where you operate anything, especially our well, I can't say especially when you operate our need and anything like that, you need to learn how to maintain your your product. You have to maintain your equipment. And this is a growing problem in theme parks, arcades, shopping malls, restaurants. You're finding too many people who either don't know how, or wow, having certain have cracking problems with all of it. Oh, let's see if I can fix that. There we go. So, you're getting... Well, no one knows how to maintain their, their equipment anymore. And I think it's because they, the, the, uh, the, people, the owners don't even train their employees to maintain the equipment. It's like, oh, well, hire someone to do it. Then why did you hire these people? For, for keep easy customer service, I, I guess, but they need to know what they're working on, too. And evidently, they don't know how to do that. At all. And it's really obnoxious that you have people working somewhere that don't know how to maintain equipment because they're not trying to. Train the people to maintain the equipment so that way they know how to keep it maintained before it fails. Because then if it fails, it costs you that much more to fix it. Maintain something before it fails. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with vehicle maintenance, but people forget how to do that, too. It's it's frustrating that, um, all the places that, and the thing is, that, that LOL place isn't that old. It's not even five years old. I think it's like four years old, I think. It's not that old. It hasn't been around very long, but all of their equipment is now dilapidated. And it took barely five years to, to go from brand new to run down in Boston. Which means the owners were lazy. They were lazy and neglected to take care of their stuff. Which the rest of the town suffered for. And we are finding that in the parks too. No one maintains equipment. And I find that so obnoxious because I know people who'd be more than willing to learn how to maintain that stuff, but they don't want to train people to maintain anything. It's a vicious cycle of lazy management. 
They want people, and this is the thing, they want people to already know how to work on it, but where do you go to learn how to work on these things? But then they, they want you to spend the money, time, and effort not around them to learn how to work on something, which means they lack the patience to trade. Do I need to learn how to work on pinball machines? I mean, that would be kind of cool because uh, we do really like pinball. We love pinball, we love air hockey, we love ski ball. Those are our favorite kind of arcade games, are Steebo, Aranaki, and Pinball. And I'd love to learn how to maintain those, so, because I'd love to own some of my own. I would love to own a Steebo, a Steebo range, and a full-size air hockey table, if I had the space for it, of course. But then, because those places are completely run down and dilapidated, we have to figure out what we're gonna do for Sleep Pea and Buttercup this year. Especially since, with everything being run down last year, and Sleep Pea was only two at that time, and she still just ran off everywhere. That, that's, that's Sleep Pea's thing. She loves to just run off. Gee, that feels familiar. That was, that was Tamara as a, as a child. And there you go, 20 past five. It is really doing that thing. I, yeah, Tara was the one who ran off a lot as a child, which means Sweet Pea had his Tara's personality. That's gonna be fun as she gets older. We're in for a world of her. But so far, the other side is back to him prone. Oh boy. Oh boy. But I, I'd say that's about enough for today. I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about. Just the things to worry about in the like down the road, starting starting tomorrow is um. Buttercup starts not this coming week, but the following week, midweek of all time. She starts on a Wednesday. I don't know why they decided Wednesday was the perfect day for kids to go back to school, but public schools, I guess. So have. A pretty much a week and a half window to get her checked and taken care of. And all her school stopping when we finally get the list of school supplies she'll need. Which I'm hoping to do tomorrow and Tuesday. Just to have all that done. But that does mean Tara might be a little bit late tomorrow with his video. Because of when the check-in orientation time is. Getting home, making sure dinner's made, all of that needs to happen and... A very small window, so it's either he does his video early or he gets it done late. But we'll see. In the meantime, that's 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 definitely enough for today. I hope everyone is enjoying their their Sunday, August fourth, two thousand twenty-four, day two hundred seventeen, and we will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See ya.